Hi, this is Gali Goldfarb and welcome to my Gorilla Life Coaching videos. Five times a week, I talk about a quote that can help you move your life to a better, healthier and happier place for you and I hope you gain a lot of value from these videos. So how are you doing today? I hope you're feeling peaceful because today our quote of the day is all about stress and it goes, it's not the load that breaks you down, it's the way you carry it by Lou Holtz. The only way you can have no stress in your life is when you are in a coma or when you are dead. The graveyard is indeed a very peaceful place, but is this where you want to be right now? I'm sure your answer is no. Stress is something that happens to us regularly throughout our life. Once you set goals for yourself, not, not small and easy uh, to attain goals, but rather the large long-term goals, then you are adding more stress to your life. There is no other way to see it. But it is the way you carry that load. It is the way you carry that stress, as Lou Holt says, that matters. When you become overstressed by something, over a period of time, you will suffer the physical consequences and this will actually move you away from reaching your goals. Being overstressed for some time may lead you to suffer from a health condition and as a result, you, your mind will not be focused on your goals. But if you handle stress inappropriately, then not only will you suffer from the physical consequences, but you will also have trouble concentrating, you will feel overwhelmed and lose all of your creative side. All of these move you further away from your dreams. So what can be done? Well, stress is a part of life. And when you are goal oriented, of course, you will be adding more stress to your life. So what is the way to handle this stress and how can you still do what is required of you to move yourself forward on the path towards your goals? Well, in order to manage your stress, firstly, you want to change your perspective on the problem. When a problem feels very intimidating, it is very stressful to cope with it. You must change your perspective on the problem to make it seem less intimidating for you. What I personally do is I think about the worst case scenario that could happen and learn to cope with it. I go through the whole process in my mind and see myself coping with the worst case scenario. That's on one hand. And then on the other hand, after I vision this worst case scenario, then I do my best to prevent this worst case scenario from happening in my life. And this helps lower the power that the problem has over you if you do this. And as a result, your levels of stress will decrease. I spoke about transforming obstacles into opportunities in a previous video. When you can see your stressful situation as an opportunity for personal growth rather than being something that is very frightening, then you can allow this stress to help you find the energy within you to move your dreams forward. It actually generates energy within you, this stress. When you change your perspective of the situation, you will feel more in control over the situation, even though it is only control over your response to the situation. But this naturally lowers your stress levels. And when you take action in spite of the stress, instead of freezing because you are too overwhelmed, then you will also feel less stress because you are doing something about it instead of just sitting down and accepting your difficult situation. This change of perspective of taking a stressful situation and having it become a challenge for you, a challenge that you take action towards, will make this stressful situation become something that you actually move yourself towards instead of moving away from. You embrace the stress. It becomes a challenge that you take on. Of course, life situations can at times feel overwhelming, but it is good to understand that it is not the situation or the situations themselves that are necessarily overwhelming. It is your perception, your perspective on them that makes them so overwhelming. You are giving the situation just too much energy, and this moves me on to the second way to handle stress. The first one was changing your perspective on the situation and the second one is to change your perspective on yourself. You are strong enough to cope with everything and if you change your perspective on the situation and see it as less threatening to you, then now is the time to improve your perspective on yourself. You are able to handle all that comes your way if you take a baby step attitude. 
taking small baby steps to get yourself out of the stressful situation or to cope with the stressful situation is what I mean by a baby step um, attitude. If you are overwhelmed and do nothing, you will become even more stressed. It will be a downward spiral. The key is to do something small on a continual basis. And the continual actions that you will take will reduce the stress load because you are feeling more in control and that you can influence your situation and you can uh, do the right, uh, take the right actions that will move you forward. You are responsible for your response and your response will be based on how you see the problem and how you see yourself. If you see the problem as something that you can overcome you and you see yourself as being strong enough to do what it takes to overcome the situation or to cope with the situation, then the stress will be less destructive and will have less control over your life. In this way, stress can even take a positive role in your life. Stress becomes a motivator for you rather than something that is scary and keeps you away from your goals because of fear that you can't cope or handle the situation. You can always respond to any situation. You don't have to sit there and do nothing and accept it as it is. You can always choose to take action with courage in response to a situation. It is up to you. I also recommend listening to my video about assertive behavior to help you choose the best way to respond to any situation where people are involved. Any assertive response to a situation will bring you more feelings of control and when you view the stressful situation as a challenge that can be coped with one step at a time, you will not only be managing your stress levels better, but you will also be in more control over your life and you will feel happier overall. So as I always do with these videos, I will provide you with a question that you want to ask yourself so that the answer will help you move your life to a better place for you. And the question of the day is, where am I giving my power away in acceptance of a situation when I can really choose to respond to the situation and have an influence by taking action? So, as usual, I recommend writing this question down in a notebook so that you can think about it, you can process it, and write down your answer. And when you look at your answers, take action and move yourself in a be better direction for you so that you can reduce the stress levels in your life. Now let's move on to the affirmation of the day. The affirmation is, I am in control of my response towards every si stressful situation that comes my way. I am in control. I am in control of my response towards every stressful situation that comes my way. I am in control. Now tell this to yourself as many times as you remember to do so today because an affirmation has the power to transform your life with repetition through its influence on your subconscious mind. So I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Please also subscribe to my channel and hit the notifications button if you like this kind of content. <laughs> and also visit my website at thegorilladiet.com. I'm sorry if I speak too fast. I know that sometimes I do get carried away. So I hope uh, you can actually lower the speed or, or maybe make it faster, whatever you can deal with um, on these videos in YouTube. So thank you very much for joining. And visit my website, thegorilladiet.com, for anything to do with health and wellness for you. Thank you.